Hey everybody, happy Independence Day. Rick Needham on the 4th of July. This is my Equibase Winter Circle major track report. Let's go to Belmont Park first, folks. Race 8, 6.36 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Tom Fool Handicap. It's a 7 furlong sprint on the dirt, grade 2. 3 year olds and up, racing for $200,000 purse. Contenders number 5, Tastyville. Number 2, Lucky Island. Number 1, Not For Money. And number 6, Premium Wine. This year's edition, the 34th uh, running of this graded stakes affair, number 5, Tastyville. Nice early speed for this sprint at the specialized distance of 7 furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in 4 of his last 5, winning 3 times in this recent streak of racing consistency, including back-to-back -back power run wins his last 2 times out. Number 2, Lucky Island, an Argentinian bred entry. Comes off a power run win in his last start. Goes to the post with the skills of the jockey trainer, Tandem of Edgar Prado and Richard Dutro Jr. in his corner. They fit the board with 56% of more than 125 entries saddled as a team to date. Race 8, summary number 5, Tastyville, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 2, Lucky Island, number 1, Not For Money, and number 6, Premium Wine, <clears throat> 5, 2, 1, 6, in the 8th from Belmont Park, the $200,000 Tom Fool Handicap. Out to Churchill Downs in Kentucky next, race 10, 5.51 p.m. Eastern Post for the Firecracker Handicap. Mile test on the turf, grade 2, 3-year-olds and up, race 4, $200,000. <clears> Contenders <throat> number 3, Einstein, number 7, Inca King, number 1, no, excuse me, number 2, Thorn King, and number 1, AP Excellent. The Brazilian bred number three Einstein qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Takes a slight class drop as the speed leader in the stakes field, racing at the mile distance on the turf. Has hit the board in power run fashion in four straight, including power run wins in his second and fourth races back. That's the bounce pattern, folks, and the bounce will be up positive this afternoon if this pattern continues. Number seven Inca King will gun for the upset. He's won five of six in his career to date, racing at today's distance on the grass, including a power run win in his last race. Race 10 summary, number 3, the Brazilian bred Einstein tops my contenders list, which also includes number 7, Inca King, number 2, Thorn King, and number 1, AP Excellent, 3721 in the Firecracker Handicap Race 10 at Churchill. Off to Hollywood Park in Southern California next, another stakes race, race 8, 5 p.m. Pacific Post with a four flawlessly stakes, a mile test on the turf, 3-year-old Phillies race for $100,000. Contenders number 8, Lethal Heat, number 11, Sweeter Still, number 6, Starry Pursuit, and number 10, Ginger Pop. Number 8, Lethal Heat, takes a class drop of 4 units today as the pace profile leader in this field. Has hit the board in 5 straight, winning 3 times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jo jockey Rafael Bejarano and trainer Barry Abrams center to the post today. They fit the board with 63% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Number uh, 11, Sweeter Still, an Irish bred entry, 9 to 2 in the morning line, is hit the board in 5 straight, also winning 3 times. Race 8, Summary, number 8, Lethal Heat, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 11, Sweeter Still, number 6, Starry Pursuit, and number 10, Ginger Pop, that's 8, 11, 6, 10 in race 8, the flawlessly stakes. A couple of bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to Charlestown first, race three. Number two, appealing camera on a 15 to 1 bomb takes the class drop. It's the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at her about today's distance of four and one half furlongs on the dirt. A whole bunch of stake races at Evangeline Downs today. Race four, the five to one shot. Number three, Go ATM. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony as the overall speed leader in this stakes field, racing at today's distance of a mile on the dirt. So from three major tracks on the 4th of July, repeat them for the Equibase Winter Circle and YouTube, of course, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.